December 27th, 1928. Youth arrested is mentally deranged. Advertised girls. This is what they're saying about me in the newspapers. Youth arrested is mentally deranged. Advertised girls. December 27th, 1928. William P. Edison Jr. arrested after he had advertised for country bred girls, promising employment at a Kearney, New Jersey factory, is mentally deranged. His father, a Columbia, South Carolina judge, told police. Edison had signed three girls for the New Jersey jobs when police arrested him Christmas Eve. According to the youth's father, Etchison was not employed by the factory he claimed to represent and will be placed in an asylum if police release him. Well, that's just a bunch of frickin' horse manure. It doesn't matter to me if those girls are country bred or city bred. <laughs> Hey, hey, you want a job? <laughs> September 20th, 1947. William P. Etchison, Columbia, South Carolina. Advertising Director William P. Etchison, about 70, of the state. Columbia Morning Newspaper died Thursday night at a hospital here after an illness of three weeks. Etchison was a native of Moxville, North Carolina, and a graduate of Wake Forest College. He was a graduate law student, but never practiced, teaching school in South Carolina, Campobello, Ellington, and Branchville. He was in the mercantile business in Ridgeway, until he joined the staff of the state in 1901 in the circulation department and, ten years later, transferred to the advertising department. Among survivors are his wife, two daughters, one of them Mrs. James F. Burgess of Greenville, and two sons, W.P. Edison of Bayonne, New Jersey, and Preston R. Edison of Columbia.